So just last night on the Jimmy Fallon show, Nintendo showed up big, with a good look at the upcoming Super Mario run, and even a musical number feat Miyamoto himself. But most importantly, we got the first ever look at Zelda played exclusively on the Switch, and Jimmy reacted like basically anyone would when given the chance to play it. We're gonna get to play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. <laughs> So we got another look at Breath of the Wild, but this is the first footage we've seen that's definitely played on the Switch and the Switch alone. All other footage we've seen is either apparently Wii U footage or has been superimposed onto a Switch screen like in the Switch reveal trailer. This however was a live gameplay demo on the console itself, so are there any noticeable differences? Let's have a look. So up front, there aren't too many differences to note. We just got more Great Plateau footage, which was done to death and back at E3, so we don't actually see anything particularly new. Link starts off around here on the map of the plateau, just outside of a small bokoblin camp, which Reggie proceeds to blow up in style by rolling a boulder onto some explosive barrels. But immediately one thing is different from E3, Link. Link's wearing the same red tunic we saw during the Game Awards gameplay, and in addition to this he has a lot more hearts than he does at the start of the game, suggesting he's a good way into it. So whether Reggie just took Jimmy back to the plateau to show off some easy gameplay, or if there's some other reason for Link to return after he jumps, is anyone's guess. As for Link's other equipment, it's all stuff we've seen before, a soldier's broadsword and bow. We also get a slightly better look at the UFO that was noticed at E3, and the angle we get now almost confirms that it's the huge bird ship we saw in the most recent trailer, so that's a cool detail. But despite his basic equipment, Jimmy seems to be able to kill the Bokoblins in one swing of his sword. We've seen at E3 that they take a lot more hits than this to go down, so whether this is an indicator that they've rebalanced the game to make the plateau easier, or that there's a way to upgrade basic weaponry or something else to make Link hit harder is unknown. But aside from this, the game really doesn't look too different from the Wii U version, which in my opinion isn't a huge deal because the Wii U version looks fantastic in almost every single way. The art style, textures, lighting are all perfect, but there's one element that has garnered some criticism, the frame rate. So does this look any better frame rate wise? Well, one element that really strained the Wii U's hardware at E3 was explosions. Take a look at this footage of an explosion of the same sort in the same location from the Wii U E3 demo and compare it to the footage of Reggie bombing the same blinds. I admittedly have limited software in this regard, but from what I can tell by slowing down the footage, the Switch suffers absolutely no frame drops, while the Wii U version does. Hopefully this is an indicator of the power of the console, and the smoother frame rate will extend to all aspects of Breath of the Wild. Anyway, thanks for watching this mini analysis of the first true Switch gameplay of Breath of the Wild. What did you guys think of this little look at the game? Leave it in the comments below. Cheers guys and I'll see you next time.